Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Pizza, pizza. We're headed into Little Caesars for today's review, along with hitting up their pizza portal, which happens to be a very convenient way to pick up your order to check out a brand new item that's debuting on their menu for the first time. And as you just saw, it's their all new thin crust pepperoni pizza, which is actually pretty much the same as one of the most popular pizzas on their menu, the extra most bestest pepperoni, just with a thinner crust. 50 plus slices of pepperoni goodness awaits you here, along with a combination of mozzarella and Munster cheese. And we've also got that sauce made of California crushed tomatoes here, but the real star of the show is definitely gonna be what's in the name. And as you can see here, guys, the thin crust itself is very cracker-like. So I'm thinking this is definitely gonna be crunchy. It definitely feels like it's gonna. And actually on top of that, this one is cut differently, more square than anything else. So I guess psychologically, it's making you think you're getting more pizza for the money. But naturally, I think we all know the deal with this one. So let's see if the flavor delivers and overall just the presentation, I gotta say, looks really, really great. This is the thin crust pepperoni, AKA the extra most bestest pepperoni part two. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, this really does feel like a cracker, almost like it's too thin. Let's dive in. It's the thin crust pepperoni for the first time ever here at Little Caesars. <laughs> too thin. Yeah, I think I see what they're going for with this one, aside from the fact that this is the very first time Little Caesars is offering a thin crust option on their menu. Here's my thought. The fact that the extra most bestest is being billed as having the most cheese, the most pepperoni for the price, never is that more apparent when you bite into this one because the fact that the crust is so thin means you're getting a lot more of the cheese and a lot more of the pepperoni right away. And that's exactly what happened after that first bite. The crust itself is really, really almost paper thin, guys. You can't even really taste it. I mean, you can kind of taste like you're chewing some of the crust, but it's not super crunchy really, except for the ends, which I haven't gotten to just yet, but there's all that cheese and all the pepperoni. So for six bucks, you're getting less carb but still the same amount of cheese as the extra most bestest on top of the pepperoni. And if you're down with less carbs, I mean, guys, you're gonna like this pizza anyway because it's thinner and you're getting more of the cheesy, meaty goodness, right? I mean, it really is pretty tasty still. Let me try and keep this focused as best as I can for you so you can check out the amount of pepperoni and cheese compared to the thinness of the crust right there. As you can see, it's pretty sizable and actually when you bite into it, you're gonna get a lot of that meaty cheesy goodness right away and I think that's what they're trying to highlight here on top of the fact that the crust itself is just paper thin. And I only say paper thin because look at this, this is noticeably thinner than I think it should be. Now I've had plenty of thin crust pizza in my day and I'll continue to get thin crust, but this really does feel like it's a lot thinner than it needs to be, to be honest. And I know you can argue it's only six bucks and I get that and I really like the fact that there's plenty of cheese and while pepperoni is not my all time favorite, it definitely is tasty. But personally for me, I still think this can be a thin crust even if it has just a little bit more dough. I really think it needs it. That cheese is pretty awesome though. Let me take one more quick bite of this one before the last close up to try the crunch in the back because I already feel like this is gonna be a very crunchy situation. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Big time crunch. So this is not too bad for what it is. And while the price point is definitely decent on this one, for me personally, I think I would rather go with the regular extra most bestest, but it's nice to have the choice. It's nice to have the option. And just so you guys know, one slice of this is only about 136 calories. So that's actually not bad either. So I guess that's the excuse to eat more of the pizza in one sitting, given the fact that there is a lot less bread in this one here. So you can really go to town on this one and not feel too bad about it, right? But I digress. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the thin crust pizza here at Little Caesars, AKA the extra most bestest pepperoni part two, just an okay. 8 out of 10. What really saves this one for me is the fact that you can really get into the cheese and pepperoni very nicely with this one. And being that that's the signature of the extra most bestest to begin with, you at least have a choice now between a regular crust, which I would personally recommend, or this new thinner crust, which I think could be just a little bit thicker. Pizza, pizza. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this first time ever crust over here at Little Caesars. Is this something worthy enough for you to check out? And are you curious enough to check it out? Definitely drop those comments down below and let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Thin crust or no thin crust? That is the question. Hey, this is the same price as the regular Extra Most Bestest. Go with your gut. You can definitely fill it more with this version. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.